What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 25 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play, and we're gonna continue on here. We just defeated Kahuna Olivia in the last episode, and the next step for us is to go this way. And formerly, there was a person riding a Stoutland blocking the entrance to this area, and there is no longer that. So we can now cross the bridge and do the last little thing there is to do here on Akala Island. Uh, I live my life in search of pleasure. I wonder if I'll find something new to enjoy if I went through the island challenge once again. That's a good... It's deep. Um, so... Just kind of exploring around this area here. Can I surf on this? Uh, looks like no. <clears throat> How about on this? Looks like no on that also. Kid looking at the corner here. Bunch of kids cheering at the Pelipper. Pikachu! Pikachu! Shoo. Master Chewster, this is your first vacation in three years. Please forget that you are a famous star and just enjoy being a regular Pikachu for once. Wow. Incredible. <laughs> uh, oh, Hanu Beach. So this is the guy that was looking for treasure in the sand. I wonder if there is treasure in the sand. A swimmer. The only reason I can luxuriate like this now is thanks to the work I do here on the beach. If you're interested in some part-time work, why not try chucking some puku muku? Real man of the seas. Consider it safe. Is my warning to you. The only people who find swimming in the water here are Pokemon trainers. Be careful out there. So it looks like... Here, why don't you take this? Soda pop. Thank you. Looks like I'm going to have to be surfing on the water again. And who are you? Glistening Sweat. Slippery Goo! The perfect tune that keeps the Hano Beach going. Pukumuku chuckers are desperately needed. Won't you become a Pukumuku chucker? What's that? One of the staff members responsible for keeping Hano Beach spotless for our guests, but Pukumuku sometimes wriggle up on the beach from the sea. I don't know why they do it, but we just can't leave them there. They shrivel up on the land, and that's not good at all. Our guests get grossed out seeing them, and sometimes they even get hurt stepping on them. So we have no choice but to chuck them back into the sea. I explained the job to you. It's pretty easy. Step one, catch them. Step two, throw them back into the sea. Report back to me once every last one is done. What do you say? Sure. Is this a mini game? You can see six left on the sand in need of saving. Is that one of them? Puke? Muke? I checked it back into the sea. Puke? Muke? That's two. Dose? Oh, this is a big area. Oh, there was a little discolored sand thing going on. It's a star you. All right, not bad. That's cool, star you. All right, getting some new Pokemon here. Not complaining about that at all. A little EXP on the side. Doesn't hurt. Feels pretty good, actually. Okay, but we already know about Star U. Water type evolves into Star Me. Water Psychic type. And uh, we're not going to use him. That's just the way it is. Damn! I didn't see the discoloration. Another... Ooh, after beating that last star you, it looks like Kung Fu Fu is evolving. I'm so Okay. I think it's gonna be like a crazy like bear lion thing though. I think I bet I wonder if it's walking on two legs instead of four, like Rockruff did. Rockruff became bipedal. He <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> does! Beware! What? 
<laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's just a bear. He's just a little bear. <laughs> oh my god. I wonder if he's pure fighting or if he's still fighting normal. So he registered that full one, so beware after Stuffle. Uh, he is still normal fighting. This Pokemon has the habit of hugging its companions. Many trainers have left this world after their spines were squashed by its hug. That's beast. That is beastly. Oh my. Okay, so uh, he's going to learn <laughs> Bind. How appropriate. How appropriate. Probably there's something I can get rid of for Bind. Honestly, Flail's probably better. Let's give up on Bind. Oh, that's so cool though. All right. <clears throat> so now Beware can go if we don't if we don't want to hold on to him anymore. I think we do for now. No, oh, an item. I think we do want to hold on to him for now. Uh, but we're still picking up some Puku Mukus. What's going on here? Trainer tips. You can use TMs as many times as you like. We know that already. It's been that way for several generations now. Puku, puke, muke. Chuck it back in the sea. Back from whence you came. Is that all of them? Will it tell me if it was? Well, there's one right up here, so. Because <clears throat> what, I got three up top? <clears throat> Excuse me, I feel like I got all of them. Let's go ask him. Good job. You got every last Puku Muku that was stranded on the beach into the sea. And it's safe where they should be. Real good. You have a real knack. And the pay is... 20000 Not bad. That's, that's real money. That's cash money right there. Sweet. That was fun. Um, but now I want to go into the water, I think. And kind of explore a little bit. I see an item up there and I see... A splushy splash part. Two of them. So maybe it's a Puku Muku. No, it's just a boring old tentacle. Boring. Look at this creepy ass bear. It's not even like moving. It's just hanging out there like it's no big deal. But it is. It's a huge deal. Let's go for Rock Tomb. You know, for toxic spikes. He doesn't even... He doesn't move. I, I'm not positive that he's even breathing. Ugh. Great. Calling for help. Move. Okay. But two tentacles go down. Uh, so let's stop leading with Kung Fu Fu. Now that he's fully evolved. We don't need that. Pearl String. I don't know what that does. No! I hit X fast enough, but I hit it twice. Another tentacle. Battle over. <clears throat> let's go to uh, Pokemon. And let's get Nips a little more. Nips is still kind of trailing behind the rest of them here, which makes sense because I caught him a long time ago and they didn't use him. Uh, luckily, this area doesn't seem too big. I was worried that it was going to just endlessly continue into oblivion, but we do have some trainer battles here. Uh, being here in the sea broadens this gentleman's mind, so good for him. Uh, Logan. Is he going to dab on us? Logan Paul? Like at the Olympics? Wishy-washy. So Nips managed to take down the wishy-washy that actually uh, used its schooling ability to become a, a big wishy-washy, just like we saw the totem Pokemon do. So I'm starting to understand a little bit better how that works. I noticed that you don't get into very many battles surfing like you did in previous games, which is, is nice because in older generations, surfing was about as bad as being in a cave. It just felt like every couple of steps you're just getting into a battle and it, it, was, it got tiresome. But we're going up against a Psyduck now. I gotta be honest, Fomantis is pretty strong. 
Even though it's a low level and it's not really outspeeding everything, it's doing quite a lot of damage with his Leaf Blade. But Swimmer Alicia goes down. Now we can press forward a little more. Uh, I got an island here. I'm feeling like there's probably a hidden item. I mean, there's an unhidden item. We know that. Black glasses. Powering up dark type moves. Looks like nothing else here. Nothing too special. Let's keep exploring. We got one more trainer over here. And it's trainer Lawrence, Swimmer Lawrence, or the Wingle, and another Pokemon. And the Barboach goes down. Barboach. Barboach. I don't know. I don't actually know a lot of the pronunci a lot of the correct pronunciations for Pokemon. I just kind of say what I feel. It's another trainer over there, and another one there next to an item. Another one there next to an item. So three more trainer battles. There's a lot of trainers out here. I'm not really sure why. But it always makes me wonder when you see this many trainers. It, or not always. I just started wondering whether or not that means... Ooh, Puku Miku. Whether or not that means that there was one of those uh, boss battles for the zone. Because they have those sometimes. Swimmer Chelsea goes down. Ooh, and we got Bouncy to a high enough level to evolve, which means we can finally get rid of him. Get him off my team. I don't like having so many Grass-type Pokemon. I don't really like that, that typing that much. Let's see what we got here, though. This is a Rapid Spinner, don't forget, guys. This is a new Rapid Spinner. Dang, Diva. Serena. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness, Serena. Okay, so this is another Rapid Spinner, new to this generation. Very cool. Bound Sweet to Steeny, like Stevia, and then Serena. My goodness, okay. Uh, still pure grass type, a Pokemon known for the beauty of its well-shaped legs. It sometimes appears as a mascot in advertisement for beauty salons. Very interesting. Uh, wants to learn a move. Uh, Trop Kick. A lot of these Pokemon learn their moves as soon as they hit their final evolution. It's really interesting. So don't delay on getting them their full full evolution if you have it. It's a grass type move that says the user lands an intense kick of tropical origins on the target. This also lowers the target's attack stat. So a grass type move, 70 base power physical uh, that lowers their their stats. So the attack stat on this thing is crazy. 92. Its defense is only 69. It's special or its defense is 69. Its special defense is 70. Its special attack is non-existent pretty much. So why am I popping magical leaf? This thing's nuts. That's such high attack stat. I'm thinking this thing must have pretty good uh, coverage moves too. It's probably got high jump kick could be I mean not all that useful maybe it gets blaze kick too that would be cool that'd be really cool so I mean I'm just I'm just really impressed by <laughs> by by that evolution's stats that's just crazy that's such that's such crazy high stats um so we got another trainer battle here. I think we have two more and there was a hidden item, not a hidden item, just an item on the ground next to Swimmer Rhodey. So let's take out Rhodey and his Gyarados. Very cool. All right, and so Rhodey goes down. Making progress through this zone. It's a, It's been kind of long. Mm. The sad thing about it is that I, I honestly thought I was close to done with this island. And I was, I mean, at least I was hoping I was. It feels like this island's been very, very big. I'm hoping some of the later islands move a little bit, move along a little bit faster. 
and a shelter and a Finian later swimmer Laura is taken down so I think I've gotten all of them here just gonna kind of do a last little pass now it looks all right to me unless I didn't fight this one yet no I did okay so we're finished here That looks done. So that was a cool little cool little side quest zone. And we're back to the Hanno Grand Resort. He wants to move through the bellhop ranks and become bell captain. And I didn't really read what that guy said, but it said something about a Pokemon battle. So hopefully not too many here. The sun, the moon shine upon you. I'm one of the bellhops. Ring the bell and I'll hop on to serve you. Land was I was born touch of a breeze wait until it blows on you and this is the guy that was wearing those weird goggles earlier so you've come at last ah but forgive me I have yet to introduce myself you may call me Faba oh I told you once before that I would show you someplace astounding right well the wondrous place is Aether Paradise let me tell you about Aether Paradise. Just as the name suggests, Aether Paradise is a veritable paradise of Pokemon that float far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It is an artificial island made entirely of human technology. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you all that I've told you in this absolute truth with a tour of Aether Paradise. You will come, won't you? Of course I'll come. You didn't take me to a hidden island. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Aether Paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too, says How. And somehow Olivia and, um, and Kukui are there too. As a kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any since I've never gotten married. Well, that's very presumptuous of you to assume that only married people can have children there, Olivia. Because, kids, here's a fun fact. You can get pregnant even if you're not married. And I won't judge you for it, but you probably shouldn't have a child when you're a kid. I will judge you for that. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Actually, I'd say you are your greatest ally. You know? So Kukui's got his own business to attend to. Uh, and then he's see us on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up in the Melee Garden. Uh, adventure across the Great Vessel of the, the High Seas, by which I mean to say the ferry. So we're going to take a ferry. So do, are they just, they're automatically taking me out of the resort there? I didn't really get a chance to explore it. Uh, I haven't decided whether or not I will go back to it yet. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Geo? Really? Knew I could count on you to react. What? Can't wait to actually see inside the Aether Paradise for myself. So if it automatically walks me on, which it looks like it is, and the boat's automatically leaving, I'm probably going to have to fly back here to check it out. And I don't know that I'm going to do that just yet. But we're going to go to Aether Paradise. Very cool looking little place. Tiny little man-made island out in the middle of the ocean there. I thought we were going to Ula Ula Island. But I suppose not. Look at this place. Very cool. <clears throat> Hypno, Meowth, Miltank out there. So this is like, finally, there's a good guy group. There's always bad guy groups failing to do anything but catch weak-ass poison and dark types. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Young Goose. And pseudo -woodoo. Where are they going? What's going on up there? Hmm. Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all of the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. New Pokeballs. Maybe like a, uh... Maybe like a Master Ball? 
Though, you will not be able to use any of our Pokeballs within Aether Paradise. A jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. So I can't catch Pokemon here, but they make special Pokeballs. Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Faba. Yes, excuse you! What is the meaning of that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? <laughs> yes, Branch Manager Faba. Now I must go speak with the President about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and then take them to meet the President as well. Hmm. Kind of a dick, Faba. Oh, excuse me, Branch Manager Faba. Uh, this girl looks like her name should be Bertha, but it's actually Wick. Oh, I should have said Alola. How did you know that? Have they been studying us? Uh, one of our employees told you about them. Thank you very much. The main entrance is up above us. This place is uh, serene. Shall we whiz straight up there? I don't really want to pee, but... Okay. This place looks like the Institute from Fallout. Who is that? Who is that, Pokemon? Who is that? You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if you need it. There's a Pikachu and a Rockruff. Geo. You and how are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you going to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I take the first chance I had to join the island channels once I turned 11 because someday I want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. Wait, I beat him. He was one of the earlier kahunas. How does he... Well, anyway. I suppose all my children must yearn a journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age, though you're hardly just children anymore. Trainers like Paranormal Pokemon Geo, you want to take your conservation area upstairs? We'll riz right up there. I really wanted to go see what that giant white gorilla was doing, but... I know we have a side quest to go get an uh, Oranguru, which is like an orangutan, so maybe that was an orangutan Pokemon. It did have, it look like it had kind of long arms. Hmm. Corsola, for example. They are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. Look at that little... Cor Look at that. Toxapex. Toxapex crawls along the ocean floor on its 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. That is hardcore. Nature's got a cruel side. Hmm. This is all really interesting, except that it's not. I'm kind of bored. So what's the point? Now she's taking us to meet her president. So... You interested in meeting the president? Kind of interested in what this place has got to offer. Uh, this is the same place... You see these, uh... That there's, like, grass on the side in these areas here. It kind of looks like the place that Lily was running away from three months earlier? When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. Some Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look and their stats. And there are regional variants, which are quite another thing altogether. Pokemon don't just change into regional variants like they might change forms. Interesting that you would point that out. Starmie is also known as a mysterious Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. You imagine this like they do. This place is really big. Really big. Long winding road. Leading us back to how, but there was something else up there. So the guys chasing Lily were, they weren't like Team Skull guys. They were all the 
Guys, here, so did Lily steal? Did she steal her little guy? My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Oh, is that the president? Pretty sweet heels there. Sweet outfit in general. You must be Geo and Howe. Welcome to Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I'm the president of the foundation, but please just call me Lusamine. I'm so glad we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon, but also the unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. And that's why I am here. I will be like the mother of all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love, even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from Alola, worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Luce, I mean, I don't know how you do all this. You're, like, not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy, I'm already over 40. You are? Wait, what? Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know? And how? Your style is a bit waning. <laughs> I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick out a smashing outfit. L like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull off that look, except maybe Lily. She knows Lily, because Lily's the one who stole... Yep. I know it now. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would all be much happier if they'd listen to the adults around them. What's going on? Are we being attacked by Team Skull? Did something happen on the lower floors? I don't know. Did something? What is this? What is that? What are you? Who are you? I can't tell yet if that's like Team Skull coming in on like a spaceship kind of thing or if that's a Pokemon. Kind of looks like a Pokemon. Did you come from another world? Brrrr. Miss Lusamine, stand back. That thing's not right. You poor creature. I've never seen a Pokemon like that. Are we going to fight that thing? Uh, I think we might, Mr. Rotom, the Pokedex. I think we might. On the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave you with this nice little cliffhanger. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be checking out what on earth is going on with that Pokemon over there And then we're gonna finish up the rest of Aether Paradise as always. My name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time